Hi, my name is Larry and you are watching the first season of Learn It With Larry. And in this mini series, we will talk to you about Atom Mini. Now, for the next videos, we will be talking about how you can make your Atom Mini work for you in your production. Now, let's get started. Atom Mini is part of the whole range of production switchers from Blackmagic Design and Atom is actually one of the more popular brands from Blackmagic Design. So they have an 8 input HD switcher all the way to 20 input, 10 input 4K switcher all the way up to an 8K switcher that's also capable of 40 inputs. Now, in this form factor, Blackmagic Design also released recently, very recently, the Atom Mini Pro. But in this video series, we will be talking about the baby of them all, the smallest Atom of them all, which is the Atom Mini. Now, Atom Mini comes with four HDMI inputs at the back, and it also supports two microphone inputs, and you have your one HDMI output. So this can go to your recorder or to your program monitoring and whatever you want to use it for. It has a webcam out via USB-C that gets connected to your computer and you have your network port for you to be able to control it. Now, there are two reasons why you want to use your Ethernet port. First is if you're going to be using hardware control panels from Blackmagic Design. So we're talking about the 1ME advanced panel or even the 2ME advanced panel if you want to. Or the Atem camera control panel. That's the first reason. The second reason is if you want to use Photoshop for you to send graphics to your live production setup. Again, this will be discussed in our later videos. Just look for it. But for most cases, if you're not using the hardware control panels or if you don't have any plans of using Photoshop for your setup, then you can just use the USB-C output connected to your computer and you'll have access to the software control. That's the back panel. Now. In your front panel, basically what you get are your input selectors. So you have your inputs number one to four that corresponds to HDMI inputs number one to four at the back. You also have your audio controls for your embedded audio coming from your HDMI sources. This is your transition effects area wherein you have the ability to change the duration of your transition or change the transition type itself. You also have an area for your picture-in-picture picture over here. The next thing that you have to think about is to install the software control in your computer. But first, let me power this at the mini to begin with. Okay, I powered it on. And then I need to connect the USB-C from my at the mini to my laptop. So I'll do it right now. So connect connect now the next thing you need to do is to go to your laptop and then install the atom software control so how do you do that first you have to go to the website of blackmagic design that's blackmagicdesign.com click on support and it will open the support page of or the support center of blackmagic design and then from here just click on atom live production switcher and install your atom switchers 8.2 update so click that and then uh, you may want to register and then after you fill up all the information just click register and download additionally if you're using a pocket cinema camera for your live production especially with atom mini this is again a very important step go to blackmagic design support web page and click on professional cameras and update your pocket cinema camera to the latest blackmagic cinema camera 6.9 update so again, you download that, fill up the, the information sheet right here, and just click register and download. Or you can just download, press download only. Now, once you're done with that, you will have your two files right here, okay? Now, the next thing you have to do is to install it. So let's install the Atom Switcher software. So it will open up the file, and you just have to install Atom, okay? Then you go through that process. All right now, once you're done downloading the software and installing it now it's time to open the software all you have to do is search it it says atom software control click on that and then it will open up your atom software control that's how easy it is that's it download the software install it and then open it once you open it 
you have the software control ready for you. In our next videos, we will go deep into the operation of Atom Mini, again enough to give you a kickstart of your experience with your Atom Mini. Please like and subscribe to our page to get access to more videos like this. And if you have any questions, you know where to reach us. My name is Larry. Thank you for watching.